Welcome back everybody. It is Sunday the 27th of July and we are here at Chester Zoo again. Um, we're going to have a walk around. It's the afternoon now, it's a little bit later and it's a little bit chillier today. Um, it's a bit overcast. It's still warm but it's just a bit overcast. Um, so we're going to try and do some things that we haven't seen for a while. Uh, we might go to the lions and some of the other areas that we haven't been in and also all the indoor enclosures are now open so i'm hoping that we can get in some indoor enclosures today and get some good footage of some of the things that we haven't shown before in our videos or we haven't shown for a long time and um, so we'll make our way in and we'll see what we get up to just wanted to quickly show you this because this is just like right as you come into the entrance a lot of people miss this so the toilets are over there and you come into the left um, and on the left hand side is where you can actually go inside the elephant house it's actually before you get into the entrance of the zoo um which strangely enough but you can actually go into the elephant house and um, but this is the names of all the elephants i just wanted to show you when they were born so reva is the baby is the youngest elephant and um, she's a daughter of sundara then there's indali she's the daughter of sundara as well then there's sundara the mummy then there's and Jan, he's the son of Ty, who sadly passed away. Angbo, he's the daddy of all the elephants. And then there's Maya. So there's only actually two large female elephants at the moment. There is Maya and Sundara. And then Angbo is the male. And then there's three babies. We have Anjan, Indali, and Reba. The poor giraffe. Uh, lying. Well, they're not lying, they're having a sat down, aren't they? They don't even sit down and lie down when they're sleeping, so that's quite crazy. No. It's very rare, isn't it, that we're seeing all of them together all just sat down and I think, yeah. Yeah, because usually they just sleep standing up. Yeah, I've never seen them all sat down together like that before. That's really, really unusual. So every single one of them, even the babies, are all sat down. Very unusual. <laughs> We went to go in the butterfly house and the queue to get in was about a half an hour queue. Yeah. Not joking, it was huge. Then we tried to go up over to um, the poisonous frogs of Torch from a tropical house to realise that it's now one way so we couldn't go up there. So we're now going to head off to try and find the sloth house but on the way we've just found the beehive. So you can just see them there um, flying in and out of the hive. So their little high was in this little hut here. But we were told a few years ago that the wasps were eating the bees. Yeah, a few years ago we got told that some of the wasps had been coming and eating the bees and attacking the hive. So um, we did see that in that little hut there, the lady did have like a glass jar of honeybee and that had been attacked by a wasp. Yeah. So and then they is, built all this, they put all this here, didn't yeah. they? All these lovely wild and flowers for the bees so to they pollinate do from. Is they put tin foil over it so the bees can't go out. Yeah, the they hive. cover it, don't they, in the winter to keep them yeah. warm and things. I'm not sure, did they hibernate? Do they hibernate in winter bees? No, they have to stick together awake and defend the honey. But even if one, but even if they move their wings, they have to keep moving their wings or they will die. But even one uh, move to try and defend their honey and they will die. Oh, okay, so because that's what happens in the winter. They have to defend themselves from the cold. So they buzz, buzz, buzz. One move and they could die if it's not Oh, cold. that's awful, isn't it? Poor bees. So important bees as well. But there we go. There's the little mini bee. Okay, again, we got to the sloth and the jaguar house and the queue's probably 40 minutes to get into that then we went round to Dole Whip the queue's probably 20 minutes for that then we went to the realm of the red eight that was the biggest queue I'd say that one now we've decided not to go into the flamingos because again we're probably a 20 minute wait to get into here uh, but we're just going to have a look from this side so, so you guys, can just not being see lazy, them. not going in but we uh, but like we've got a dog at home with my grandma and now my grandma she'll absolutely exhaust him <laughs> no we're just basically we're not we don't want to queue all this time just to go into the enclosures um because i don't think it's worth it and they're extremely busy when you get inside i don't want to be blocked with a lot of people there's lots of people not wearing masks inside the enclosures there's lots of people not social distancing and i just don't want to put ourselves in that kind of situation at the moment um, so you can just see the flamingos through there. Oh, there's, that's not a flamingo flag, that's a different one, isn't it, though? 
can just see them in there. That is the... Doesn't say. Doesn't say on that. Happy it, isn't it? So we're hopefully going to go around and possibly because of the penguins and things because they're outside. And we might be able to see the otters and things like that. So we'll head round and we'll see what else we can buy. Okay, this is what I mean by a queue. So this is the queue just to get into the aquarium. Aquarium full of um to see some fish but then yeah the aquarium is like only small and you kind of queue as you go around it's like an actual set way that you walk around so you can't like overtake people you have to walk around so again this is probably like a half an hour queue just to get into the aquarium um so as we said we're just gonna not do it and i apologize that i did say we're gonna try and do all the indoor things today but you know, we'd never get anywhere if we stood in those queues for all that time. It's just ridiculous. Uh, Basically, if we just did that Jaguars and that, that would already be maybe an hour and a half. And yeah, we didn't like... want to do that. We would rather do every outside enclosure than the indoor enclosures yeah, and, and be stuck here for maybe five minutes. By the time you've hours. also been round them as well, then when you're inside, like, takes up too much time. Um, so we're going to go and see if we can see the otters. Oh, you can go that way now. And, oh, yeah, so you can. Oh, yeah, I still think it's one way, them. It's all them people are waiting, Matilda, to come through. Oh, my <laughs> That's a big queue, so you can come through and see the otters. Um, so we'll hopefully be able to see them outside, and then we'll head round and possibly see the penguins, because they're outside, so hopefully there can't be a queue for something like that, but we'll see. Oh, so we're super lucky. The keeper is actually feeding the otters. Um, so she's just threw some giant fish into this. Oh, fish as well. Oh my gosh, look, it comes right out here in front of you. There's two of them. Wow, look at Went that. Went all the way down with a fish. Oh my goodness. No, none of them have ever seen them like this before. And they love the fish. This is yeah, super lucky. So they're both eating a fish. Look at it. It's, it's actually yeah. holding the fish with its hands. Yeah, it's holding one there and one there. You can just see the little mouths are going. Oh my gosh, it's a bit brutal. <laughs> it's brutal, but they like it. them smell yeah. like something. Yeah, smells. curry plant. Mum, look at oh, it, look at wow, it. Look look it. Look now it's like brown wool. It smells like the curry plant or like celery or something. Gosh, it's really going for this fish here. You definitely would not want it to be on your fingers. <laughs> Oh, they're bigger than what I thought. Yeah, they're longer than two meters. So, there it yeah. is. Wow. How beautiful. It looks like you've got like a beard and stuff at the hair in its face. Yeah, because they have two, and I think they're male and female, and I think they hope they're going to breed. We've just stopped off for an ice cream. So this is the Cheshire Ice Cream Farm, um, and it actually comes in a little tub. So I've chose honeycomb, and I've got ant chocolate. I haven't got Matilda on because she's had a lemon sorbet from Costco on the way here when we stopped off for lunch. Um, she can have a little bit of some of ours, but because she's had lemon sorbet, I don't want her having um, something else. They were £2.75 each for the little tubs. I know I could have got annual pass discount with them, but I didn't have it because Aunt had took it to the toilet with Matilda. Um, and it's actually rock hard. Like I thought it might have been a little bit soft, so I've left it there to kind of melt a bit because it's absolutely solid, as you can see, straight out the freezer. <laughs> um, so it's just that little stand over there, which is next to where the lions used to be and opposite the toilets. Um, I'm not sure like if it's better, probably not better value than the ones you can get in the scoop, but I kind of just went for the idea of that there's literally no queue over there and there's probably going to be a huge queue around the other side because that's where you get them with the cones and the sprinkles and everything um, and we know the flavors we know we like them so we're gonna go for it something that we've never seen before these are the spectacle oh, owls. Look at its face. oh that one's just turned around it's a bit hard for the bars but you can just make them out there there's two of them there we go oh they're beautiful both sat together Oh, I've never seen them before, have we? Yeah, everything just seems to keep moving. We tried to go and see the, um, what did we try and go and see? We tried to go and see the cheetah, and the cheetahs weren't there. Sure everybody the, junk the bush dogs have been moved. We saw the junkyard last time, but it's not open, is it, because of COVID? Nothing's properly open at the minute. 
Um, so they've still got all the things they had in our last video. Um, all the plastic, all the plastic so we, recycling section. Still got a section of monorail. Still got a random section of monorail up. Yeah, they just don't seem to be getting rid of for some strange reason. Uh, I think we're going to head over the bridge. Um, hopefully, I'm not, I'm not with the Cohibaras, maybe. On the way back, we'll see. So, we've just found the Babarusas. These are funny little creatures, funny little animals. They do look like. Hey, cheeky monkey. I have the other way makeup. They look like pigs, don't they? Look at them. Like grunting around after each other. Oh, there is a bigger one there. They're all just like chasing each other, aren't they, through the woods? Oh, there, oh there's a big one. Oh, that is a big one. Maybe these are the babies. I think you're right. Shouldn't they the babies and there's a mummy and a daddy? Yeah. Maybe. The piglets keep hiding in that bush, don't they? Oh, yeah, they're all in the bush. There it is. I think they're all just hiding in the bush for some reason. I think the mummy and daddy are behind it. Oh, there's one. Look. That's the big one. That's the mummy. Oh, she's coming this way now. There she is. There's the mummy babarusa. And there's the little babies. There they are. Oh, they are tiny, aren't they? They are like little baby piglets. I think there are, I think there is, there is three piglets, isn't there? Oh, two days behind us, let's have a look. Um, the Philippine spotted deer. You can just see one there. Is that its bum I'm looking at? Oh yeah. Yeah, the other one's just trotted in. So we're a bit of a distance away, but I'm coming to try and zoom in because the bear is at the top of the tree. So stay here a minute, Matilda, stay still so I can try and get in. So there he is. You can just see the bear. The Andean bear. Really few wasn't based off that. Paddington, wasn't it? Paddington's a spectacle bear. Is that what that is? He said that was the Andean bear. Maybe that is the spectacle bear. And there's the capybaras. Only one capybara out today. Let's see if we can see any more. Oh, there's more capybaras out. I can see some people are pointing over here, so I'm wondering if we can see something else. Very adventurous. Yeah, it is adventurous. There's one just on the floor here eating. The Andean bear, and the other one is up in the tree. Very clever that he's climbed up there, isn't he? He's climbed right up there. And the other one's just having a little nosy on the floor here. Yeah. Looks like he's found some fruit. Somebody's eating something, isn't he? Look. He's always on the move. You see Matilda? Look, he's going somewhere. Oh, he's on the move. That way, that way on top of a tree, I don't think it can get that. It looks like it's stuck up there, doesn't it? Yeah, that has a... There we go. There he is. Oh. Did you do that? What was that? Was that another one? That's that one, isn't it? No, that was the man over there. Was it? I love the way these two take no notice in the tree. Oh, Cathars, so we've got one here. Oh, look at him stretching his long neck. Wow, that's a good one. One over here, he's asleep here, isn't he, this one? And the one just here asleep. And then that looks like a tiny one just there in front in the, like sitting in the weeds. I'm not sure if he's going to about to jump in. They're not moving, are they? They're all just still. The one that's moving is that one over there, he's having a chomp on something. <laughs> This one's asleep. Oh, that one's moved a little bit. It's found some grass, look. Found the grass now. Yeah, they were all running around, weren't they? Jumping in the water and playing. Well, they might be inside as well. They might not have all wanted to come out today. Hi everyone, so sorry, we forgot to film the end of the video at the zoo um, only because it was just really busy as you can see um, the queues for everything was absolutely chocker 
Um, so we just kind of headed out. We said we were going to do it in the car and then just completely forgot. Um, so I think all I would say is like, yes, all the indoor attractions are now open, which obviously is a good thing um, in a way, but really, really bad for queues. Um, every single... Yeah, every single like indoor attraction was just really, really absolutely chocker. The queues were huge. Um, I suppose because they haven't been open for a while either, like more people obviously want to get in and want to see them. Um, so I think maybe we're going to give it a couple of weeks, let it settle down again, let more people visit. And then hopefully in a few weeks when things are getting a bit more back to normal again and more things are open. Mm. I'm hoping that it won't be as busy and we'll be able to get some um, footage of those indoor attractions and those enclosures and things that are inside. And the positive um, we'll see things that we wouldn't normally see. Like the well, we saw, we saw the otters being fed. I've never seen that before. So that was a really good thing to say. I don't think we saw anything else that wasn't usual. We saw did the we? Um, thick baby roosters. Oh, we saw the baby, 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 blah, blah, blah. baby uh -huh. baby roosters. And we saw the bear in the tree. Yes, we did. I suppose we did get some good footage. We saw the baby babarooses. We saw the bear in the tree. We saw the otters being fed. That's some things that we've not, yeah, I've not seen, that before. seen before, have we? Seen the days before um, no, we haven't seen the spotted days before, yeah. Um, we did see some things we haven't seen before. Um, but it was just a shame that we couldn't get in those indoor enclosures. So. Hopefully, fingers crossed for next time. We're going, um, we're going Blackpool next weekend, yeah. Um, so that will involve some of the um, Merlin attractions in Blackpool. I think it's like Madame Two Swords, Sea Life Centre, the Blackpool Tower. Yeah, hopefully the circus, um, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe the circus, circus but we'll see. Yeah, because you've got to pay to really. Yeah, um, we always go to like a really nice ice cream place that we call Creams. Um, they have them. Chain. Yeah, it is like a chain. Really nice We've places. seen one in um, Windsor, haven't we? They have them in London. I think we first went to it in London. Yeah. Called Creams. Uh, no, it is nice. Like the hot cookie dough with yeah. the ice cream is really good on the Sundays and things. So we'll probably end up there for some dessert at some point. Um, normally we get fish and chips, don't we, as well? But yeah, we'll see how the day pans out. So um, like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And I hope you get ready for... Blackpool next weekend. See you soon.